Hereditary Spastic Paraplegia, Wikipedia Audio Hereditary Spastic Paraplegia is a group of inherited diseases whose main feature is a progressive gait disorder. The disease presents with progressive stiffness and contraction in the lower limbs. HSP is also known as hereditary spastic paraparesis, familial spastic paraplegia, French settlement disease, or Strumpel-Lorraine disease. The symptoms are a result of dysfunction of long axons in the spinal cord. The affected cells are the primary motor neurons, therefore the disease is an upper motor neuron disease. HSB is not a form of cerebral palsy even though it physically may appear and behave much the same as spastic diplegia. The origin of HSB is different from cerebral palsy. Despite this, some of the same antispasticity medications used in spastic cerebral palsy are sometimes used to treat HSB symptoms. HSB is caused by defects in transport of proteins structural proteins, cell-maintaining proteins, lipids, and other substances through the cell. Long nerve fibers are affected because long distances make nerve cells particularly sensitive to defects in these mentioned mechanisms. The disease was first mentioned in 1876 by Adolf Seligmuller, a German neurologist who described a family of four affected children with spasticity. Further cases were described in 1883 by Adolf Strumpel, a German neurologist. Those cases were described more extensively in 1888 by Maurice Lorraine, a French physician. Due to their contribution in describing the disease, it is still named Strumpel-Lorraine disease in French-speaking countries. The term hereditary spastic paraplegia was coined by Anita Harding in 1983. Signs and Symptoms Symptoms depend on the type of HSB inherited. The main feature of the disease is progressive spasticity in the lower limbs due to pyramidal tract dysfunction. This also results in brisk reflexes, extensor plantar reflexes, muscle weakness, and variable bladder disturbances. Furthermore, among the core symptoms of HSB are also included abnormal gait and difficulty in walking, decreased vibratory sense at the ankles, and paresthesia. Individuals with HSB can experience extreme fatigue associated with central nervous system and neuromuscular disorders, which can be disabling. Initial symptoms are typically difficulty with balance, stubbing the toe or stumbling. Symptoms of HSB may begin at any age, from infancy to older than 60 years. If symptoms begin during the teenage years or later, then spastic gait disturbance usually progresses over many years. Canes, walkers, and wheelchairs may eventually be required, although some people never require assistance devices. Disability has been described as progressing more rapidly in adult onset forms. More specifically, Patients with the autosomal dominant pure form of HSB reveal normal facial and extraocular movement. Although jaw jerk may be brisk in older subjects, there is no speech disturbance or difficulty of swallowing. Upper extremity muscle tone and strength are normal. In the lower extremities, muscle tone is increased at the hamstrings, quadriceps and ankles. Weakness is most notable at the iliopsoas, tibialis anterior, and to a lesser extent, hamstring muscles. In the complex form of the disorder, additional symptoms are present. These include, peripheral neuropathy, amyotrophy, ataxia, mental retardation, ichthyosis, epilepsy, optic neuropathy, dementia, deafness, or problems with speech swallowing or breathing. 
Baclofen a voluntary muscle relaxant to relax muscles and reduce tone. This can be administered orally or intrathecally, to xanadine to treat nocturnal or intermittent spasms, diazepam and clonazepam to decrease intensity of spasms, oxybutynin chloride an involuntary muscle relaxant and spasmolytic agent, used to reduce spasticity of the bladder in patients with bladder control problems. Tolteridine tartate an involuntary muscle relaxant and spasmolytic agent, used to reduce spasticity of the bladder in patients with bladder control problems, botulinum toxin. To reduce muscle overactivity, antidepressants for patients experiencing clinical depression, physical therapy to restore and maintain the ability to move, to reduce muscle tone to maintain or improve range of motion and mobility, to increase strength and coordination, to prevent complications, such as frozen joints, contractures, or bed sores. Anita Harding classified the HSB in a pure and complicated form. Pure HSB presence with spasticity in the lower limbs associated with neurogenic bladder disturbance as well as lack of vibration sensitivity. On the other hand, HSB is classified as complex when lower limb spasticity is combined with any additional neurological symptom. This classification is subjective and patients with complex HSBs are sometimes diagnosed as having cerebellar ataxia with spasticity, mental retardation, or leukodystrophy. Some of the genes listed below have been described in other diseases than HSB before. Therefore, some key genes overlap with other disease groups. In the past, HSB has been classified as early onset beginning in early childhood or later onset in adulthood. The age of onsets has two points of maximum at age 2 and around age 40. New findings propose that an earlier onset leads to a longer disease duration without loss of ambulation or the need for the use of a wheelchair. This was also described earlier, that later onset forms evolve more rapidly. HSB is a group of genetic disorders. It follows general inheritance rules and can be inherited in an autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, or X-linked recessive manner. The mode of inheritance involved has a direct impact on the chances of inheriting the disorder. Over 70 genotypes had been described, and over 50 genetic loci have been linked to this condition. Ten genes have been identified with autosomal dominant inheritance. One of these SPG4 accounts for 50% of all genetically solved cases cases, or approximately 25% of all HSB cases. Twelve genes are known to be inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion. Collectively this latter group account for 1-3 cases. Most altered genes have known function, but for some the function haven't been identified yet. All of them are listed in the gene list below, including their mode of inheritance. Some examples are spastin and paraplegian are both triple A ADPases. The genes are designated SPG. The gene locations are in the format, chromosome, arm, band number. These designations are for the human genes only. The locations may vary in other organisms. Despite the number of genes known to be involved in this condition 40% of cases have yet to have their cause identified. In the table below SPG is used to indicate a gene that has been associated with HSB but has not yet received an official HSB gene designation. The major feature of HSB is a length-dependent axonal degeneration. These include the crossed and uncrossed corticospinal tracts to the legs and fasciculus gracilis. The spinocerebellar tract is involved to a lesser extent. 
neuronal cell bodies of degenerating axons are preserved and there is no evidence of primary demyelination. Loss of anterior horn cells of the spinal cord are observed in some cases. Dorsal root ganglia, posterior roots, and peripheral nerves are not directly affected. Age of onset HSB affects several pathways in motor neurons. Many genes were identified and linked to HSB. It remains a challenge to accurately define the key players in each of the affected pathways, mainly because many genes have multiple functions and are involved in more than one pathway. Pathfinding is important for axon growth to the right destination. Significant for this mechanism is the L1CAM gene, a cell surface glycoprotein of the immunoglobulin superfamily. Mutations leading to a loss of function in L1CAM are also found in other X-linked syndromes. All of these disorders display corticospinal tract impairment. L1CAM participates in a set of interactions, binding other L1CAM molecules as well as extracellular cell adhesion molecules, INTE grins, and proteoglycans or intracellular proteins like ankyrins. The pathfinding defect occurs via the association of L1CAM with neuropilin 1. Neurophilin 1 interacts with plexin A proteins to form the semaporin 3A receptor complex. Semaporin 3A is then released in the ventral spinal cord to steer corticospinal neurons away from the midline spinal cord slash medullary junction. If L1CAM does not work correctly due to a mutation, the corticospinal neurons are not directed to the correct position and the impairment occurs. Axons in the central and peripheral nervous system are coated with an insulation, the myelin layer, to increase the speed of action potential propagation. Abnormal myelination in the CNS is detected in some forms of HSB HSB. Several genes were linked to myelin malformation, namely PLP1, GFC2 and FA2H. The mutations alter myelin composition, thickness, and integrity. Endoplasmic reticulum is the main organelle for lipid synthesis. Mutations in genes encoding proteins that have a role in shaping ER morphology and lipid metabolism were linked to HSB. Mutations in ATL1, BSCL2 and ERLIN2 alter ER structure specifically the tubular network and the formation of three-way junctions in ER tubules. Many mutated genes are linked to abnormal lipid metabolism. The most prevalent effect is on arachidonic acid and cholesterol metabolism, phospholipase activity, ganglioside formation, and the balance between carbohydrate and fat metabolism. Neurons take in substances from their surrounding by endocytosis. Endocytic vesicles fuse to endosomes in order to release their content. There are three main compartments that have endosome trafficking, Golgi to slash from endosomes, plasma membrane to slash from early endosomes and late endosomes to lysosomes. Dysfunction of endosomal trafficking can have severe consequences in motor neurons with long axons, as reported in HSB. Mutations in AP4B1 and KIAA0415 are linked to disturbance in vesicle formation and membrane trafficking including selective uptake of proteins into vesicles. Both genes encode proteins that interact with several other proteins and disrupt the secretory and endocytic pathways. Mitochondrial dysfunctions have been connected with developmental and degenerative neurological disorders. Only a few HSB genes encode for mitochondrial proteins. Two mitochondrial resident proteins are mutated in HSB, paraplegian and chapronin 60. Paraplegian is a MAAA metalloprotease of the inner mitochondrial membrane. 
it functions in ribosomal assembly and protein quality control. The impaired Chapronin 60 activity leads to impaired mitochondrial quality control. Two genes DDHD1 and CYP2U1 have shown alteration of mitochondrial architecture in patient fibroblasts. These genes encode enzymes involved in fatty acid metabolism. Cause Genotypes Initial diagnosis of HSBs relies upon family history, the presence or absence of additional signs and the exclusion of other non-genetic causes of spasticity, the latter being particular important in sporadic cases. Pathophysiology Axon path finding Lipid metabolism Endosomal trafficking Mitochondrial function Cerebral and spinal MRI is an important procedure performed in order to rule out other frequent neurological conditions, such as multiple sclerosis, but also to detect associated abnormalities such as cerebellar or corpus callosum atrophy as well as white matter abnormalities. Differential diagnosis of HSP should also exclude spastic diplegia which presents with nearly identical day-to-day -day effects and even is treatable with similar medicines such as baclofen and orthopedic surgery. At times, these two conditions may look and feel so similar that the only perceived difference may be HSP's hereditary nature versus the explicitly non-hereditary nature of spastic diplegia. Ultimate confirmation of HSB diagnosis can only be provided by carrying out genetic tests targeted towards known genetic mutations. Hereditary spastic paraplegias can be classified based on the symptoms, mode of inheritance, the patient's age at onset, the affected genes, and biochemical pathways involved. Diagnosis no specific treatment is known that would prevent, slow, or reverse HSB. Available therapies mainly consist of symptomatic medical management and promoting physical and emotional well-being. Therapeutics offered to HSB patients include Although HSB is a progressive condition, the prognosis for individuals with HSB varies greatly. It primarily affects the legs although there can be some upper body involvement in some individuals. Some cases are seriously disabling while others are less disabling and are compatible with a productive and full life. The majority of individuals with HSB have a normal life expectancy. Worldwide the prevalence of all hereditary spastic paraplegias combined is estimated to be 2 to 6 in 100,000 people. A Norwegian study of more than 2.5 million people published in March 2009 has found an HSB prevalence rate of 7.4-100,000 of population a higher rate, but in the same range as previous studies. No differences in rate relating to gender were found, and average age at onset was 24 years. In the United States, hereditary spastic paraplegia is listed as a rare disease by the Office of Rare Diseases of the National Institutes of Health which means that the disorder affects less than 200,000 people in the U.S. population. Classification Treatment Prognosis Epidemiology